on motivation throughout your life is probably a lie. Bold statement, I know, but coming from a girl that's tested in the 99th percentile for motivation, I think I know a few things. In this weekly vlog, I kind of want to take you through how I stay motivated throughout my week in regards to my workouts, my fitness, eating healthy, and my business. And honestly, I'm going to save you some time. It's not always about motivation. It's about discipline. If you want to see how, keep watching the video. Sometimes you got to pick yourself up, get your big girl pants on, because life isn't always easy, and sometimes you're not going to feel motivated. Let's talk about how you can get through that. town to go on a little relaxing bike ride it's like 8 p.m. right now honestly I just needed to get out of the house I was feeling super cooped up it's kind of been a week my boyfriend's dad actually had an open heart surgery last week so it's just honestly been a really hard week he's doing well though so that's good hold on I'm gonna set my mic down and just sit down and chat with you guys for a second let me get set up really quick Okay, I've been situated. Sorry if the cars in the background are a little bit loud. I'm actually like right next to a super busy road. Hopefully that's okay. I just want you to know that lacking motivation in your fitness journey or really any aspect of your life is so incredibly normal. So please don't beat yourself up. I mentioned it briefly in my last weekly vlog that I did that I just like randomly pulled my back out of nowhere. I was just exercising. I did a really simple sumo squat and I just felt something shift and it just pulled. And it honestly took me like at least five days to feel better from that. And I was super discouraged from it. I took like five days off of exercise which isn't a big deal at all I have no problem doing that actually it's the reason why I got into biking because it was the only thing that didn't hurt my back and I'm the type of person that needs to move and exercise in order to feel sustained and happy and just content and I've really been enjoying biking lately but my best advice for you to be motivated in your fitness journey is to not beat yourself up about the fact that you don't feel motivated I haven't lifted weights since I injured my back it just made me take a step back and be like okay I'm a functional trainer I like functional training which just means that I've integrated fitness into my lifestyle it's how I've managed to stay motivated it's how I've managed to maintain my healthy lifestyle and just be fit and happy and not feel like I'm being deprived at all have a fitness and a lifestyle that is functional when I injured my back instead of going back and lifting weights right again I was just honestly kind of afraid so I decided I'm just gonna for a while focus on just body weight Pilates bar based training and I have been loving that I've just gone down into my home gym I've just done body weight exercises as you guys saw that I did this morning and it's been a really good time and I know that one day I'm gonna wake up and be like, okay, I really miss lifting weights. I'm gonna lift weights today. And that's how I've stayed motivated with fitness. It's really just integrating it into your lifestyle in a way that works for you. And I know that it takes trial and error and you're not gonna figure it out overnight. That's how you're gonna stay motivated. There's a car that's watching me film right now, but that's okay. I'm gonna pretend like I'm confident. At confident, no one will question you. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this bike ride. I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful evening and I'm gonna move my body today in a way that feels good. It's starting to rain. Definitely got a little wet, but sometimes I think we forget as adults that a little bit of rain doesn't hurt us. Rain is good for the soul. I'm in a good mood. I'm happy.
happy Tuesday. It is literally 9 a.m. right now and I have done nothing this morning and it feels great because I believe that there is a fine line between motivation and discipline and knowing where to take a rest day. And last night after I got back from that bike ride, I went and looked at my calendar and I was just feeling super tired and I realized that I hadn't taken a rest day in almost a week. And I was like, you know what? I know I normally take rest days on Saturdays, but my weeks have been a little bit thrown off ever since I hurt my back and I think I just need to take a rest day. So I decided that I was just gonna sleep in as late as I needed to and granted I know that this is a luxury because I work from home so if you do work in an office this probably doesn't really apply to you on a weekday but just hear me out I woke up at exactly 8 a.m. and I just laid in bed till like 8 30. would you say that that's lazy or do you think that's being non-motivated I don't think so because I listen to my body and I know what my body needs and I just think that sometimes people glamorize being productive and trying to constantly slave away to achieve your goals and I truly believe that the muscle is built when you're sleeping not when you're awake normally I am very disciplined and I will get myself out of bed between 6 30 and 7 15 in the morning and I'll smash out a morning workout and then I'll go have coffee with my sister and my mom and then I'll get to work for the day but today I was like you know what I need to take a rest day my body is tired and I listen to my body and I think that that's just being kind to yourself and taking care of your body I don't think that that's being lazy maybe I'll feel super energized later today and I'll do a workout in the evening I don't know but for now I'm just focusing on doing a little bit of reading drinking some coffee and then going and getting some work done on my computer I know it can be hard to try to understand the difference between being motivated and being disciplined. It's honestly just being really, really self-aware and understanding that I worked out for six days straight. It's time for me to take a rest day. I'm not being lazy. My body just needs a break and your body will thank you for that and you will come back stronger and better prepared to smash out your next workout. My parents actually left. They'll be back by the time you guys see this vlog. They drove halfway across the country to go visit some family of mine. So my sister and I have the house to ourselves and my little brother for the next couple of days, which will be interesting. My boyfriend is still gone. Last week was a really, really hard week. Yeah, it's just kind of been a very, I don't know what the word is, adulting. Yes, adulting is the word. We've been adulting a lot the past week, especially Parker. I feel bad for him and his dad, obviously. But anyways. <laughs> It is much later in the afternoon. It's just past three o'clock. I've been sitting at my computer for a couple hours now and I'm just getting a little bit overwhelmed. I'm a very active person and I feel like I really struggle to just sit there and concentrate. If you ever feel like you're lacking motivation, it's completely normal. We see all these videos out on YouTube of these girls just getting all this work done, but remember that you're only seeing about 14 minutes of a girl's entire day or even her week. And to be honest with you, even though I am working a nine to five schedule, I am not productive from nine to five. And that's something that I really wanna work on because I just wanna be more intentional with my time because the better way we spend our time the more time that we'll have for self-care and enjoying life also I wanted to mention too if you guys have been following me for a while now you would have seen that I started an Instagram page I actually shut the Instagram page down Instagram is such a headache like there were so many bot accounts just like attacking my new account and I felt like I couldn't connect with people like I was hoping to so I was like you know what screw it I'm just gonna give it a break I don't know if you guys are here from the beginning starting a channel is really hard and it's just a roller coaster so thank you for hanging in there with me also while I'm thinking of it if you guys are looking for any business updates as you know I am working on a sports bra company I just got I think my fifth prototype in which is very exciting it is not quite there yet but it is getting there I'm hoping the next prototype will be done in the next couple of weeks and then we'll be moving into field testing which just basically means that I'll be giving a bra out to a few women they'll be trying the bra out telling me what they like about it what they don't like about it and talk to my investors and my manufacturers all very very adulting stuff but honestly I'm excited and as I told you guys the whole reason why I started this YouTube channel was I just wanted to document the journey of not only my healthy living but document and then creating my dream life and living a life that I feel like is aligned with my purpose and sports bras for bigger busted women for some reason is something that I'm very passionate about and since graduating I've somehow become the boob lady so I'm working really hard to create sports bras that I feel like are adequate enough for women who are a little bit bigger busted so if you do struggle finding sports bras I have very exciting things coming to the market very soon so stay tuned also while I'm thinking of it I have a question for you do you enjoy seeing content of strictly just like the lecturing and the how to's and the tips and tricks or do you also like seeing a little bit of my life as well. I feel like the kind of videos that I watch on YouTube or vlogs that I love just feeling like I'm a fly on the wall and creeping in on someone's life so I can kind of see how they do things, maybe get some inspiration from it. So I always try to throw in some life stuff in there while also giving you guys some valuable tips when it comes to healthy and balanced living. So please let me know what content you are enjoying the most. It really helps me create content that is going to benefit you. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
black bean meatballs for the girls, chicken parm for the boys. I just got this random burst of motivation. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit, but I think I'm gonna try to outrun the rain. I truly believe the people that are most motivated to move their body, to love their healthy lifestyle, and to just enjoy exercise are the people that are actually doing the things that they enjoy. I talked about this before. The reason why I've stayed so motivated and disciplined in my exercise journey is I genuinely just love it. I just went out on a run. It honestly was pouring down rain. Like I am so, there is nothing more liberating than going on a run, listening to This Is Me by The Greatest Showman and just jamming out to some music while getting poured on in some rain. It was like the most dramatic moment of my life. I stay motivated because I love my healthy lifestyle. There are days when I wake up and I don't feel like exercising. Today was one of those days, but you know, seven o'clock rolled around. I was kind of bored and I was like, you know what? I feel like moving my body. If I was tired, I wouldn't have done it. It is all about just loving your lifestyle. There are so many different exercises that you can do. And if you're not enjoying moving your body, then you're not doing it right. Actually, right before my run, I got off the phone with my boyfriend and his dad. And as I told you guys, he actually just had open heart surgery. And honestly, it was like a really inspiring conversation. He just told me, he's like, you know what? I wish I would taking care of my body so take care of your body while you can and if you're gonna take advice from anyone take advice from somebody that is in a hospital bed and just went through one of the most invasive surgeries that you can go through and honestly I think that's so inspiring to look at something that you've gone through and decide that you want to be better and that you want to do better so take it from me take it from Parker's dad guys move your body we are such incredible beings don't take advantage of your body <laughs> Good, thanks for asking. Yeah, I just didn't think that that made any sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds good. I just finished a meeting with my investor. It actually went really, really well. We were talking about finishing up the prototype and doing a bit of field testing. So all very exciting stuff, but who cares? I wanted to talk about motivation again. As I told you guys, I was really struggling with waking up and feeling motivated to work out. I found a few tricks that really helped me. I've heard people say that they lay their clothes out the night before their workout and it helps them just wake up and get their workout done. I don't necessarily need to do that. I feel like that doesn't help me, but what does help me is having my workout planned the night before. Normally I'm like, hey, I'm going to do an arm workout or a butt workout and I know generally what muscle group that I'm targeting but I found that when either I wrote out my workout or I picked what workout I was gonna do it made it a lot easier because when I woke up instead of the goal being hey you need to get a 30 minute workout in the goal was hey you need to do eight exercises one minute each exercise repeat times two and that sounds so much more manageable so that kept me motivated to get my workout in it also helped that I went to bed at a decent time so I got a great night's sleep also another tip that I have that helps me manage my workout routine is having my goals in my my intentions known and right. When I first started my workout journey, I was working out because I wanted shredded abs, okay? And while I still love the benefits of my beautiful physique that I get, really what gets me through my workout is the mental health journey that it took me on. The reason why I work out four years later is because I love the way that it makes me feel. The endorphins rush at the end of a workout is addicting. It is so much better than going out and partying, drinking alcohol, doing any drugs, not that I've ever done drugs before, but I live for that endorphin rush because it makes me feel good. And I know that when I work out, I'm gonna be a better person in my professional life and in my personal life and everything else that I do. So know your why, know why you're working out. Fitness is such a small part of my life, but it is my lifestyle. As you guys know, I strive to live a healthy and balanced lifestyle. It is what makes me the happiest, best version of myself. So figure out how you can implement a workout routine that makes you the best version of yourself. And another thing that's helped me too is just honestly diversifying my workouts. I get bored so easily. I'm such a high strung person and showing up and lifting weights one day and then showing up been doing Pilates or bar or going on a bike ride another day is what keeps me motivated and interested in my workout journey. Just change it up. Maybe buy some apps if you want to try out different workouts. I know Kayla Itstein, if that's how you say that. People love her workouts. I know Sarah's Day has an app too. There's seriously so many fitness influencers out there that sell workout apps. And while I don't have one, I would love to have one someday. I think there's a workout for everyone. And I think that your workouts change as your lifestyle changes and as your life changes, whether you're traveling, whether you're staying at home more often, whether you're really feeling the weights or you just want to use your body weight. Just diversify your workouts and know your reason why you're working out. I can't believe I'm related to that weirdo. Hello. I was talking crap about you the entire time. <laughs> Do you want pop cup? Tell me. Good girl. Come get pop cup. She was doing the weirdest face. Ooh, pup cup. Lane and I were feeling cooped up, so we went and got ourselves some Starbucks. And I'm gonna draw my boyfriend's mom a card for her birthday. We're just gonna She's hang out. She's so nice. Love making cards. Someday I'm gonna make cards and stationery, and it's gonna be a great time. Thank you. Can I charge a Rooney 
Jamie's life. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, oh god, god, I just dropped really. By the way, totally forgot to mention, I got a Starbucks double shot on ice, which they now call it like an ice shake and espresso. This is the tag if you guys want to try it. It's super good. Elena got the same thing, except she got hers with caramel and cinnamon. Guys, I just had the funniest morning. Happy Thursday, by the way. And actually, I had an 8 a.m. women's health checkup appointment, so I had to go and get, you know, a pap smear. Love that for me. Anyways, it was fine. And the lady was in there. She's feeling up my boobs, as they do in your regular women's health checkup appointment. And she's like, so, um, are you working? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm actually doing a startup right now. And she was like, oh, what do you do? And I was like, I actually am doing a startup for a high-impact sports bra company for bigger busted women. <laughs> And she was like, oh, that's really cool. And she was like so, so excited about it. Then I finish off my pap smear and I go out and I'm not kidding you, all of the nurses from my doctor's appointment were swarming me in the best way possible. And I was just cracking up because if you were a fly on the wall and you were watching this conversation, it would have looked so weird because these ladies were all standing around me. There's like four or five nurses and they were holding their boobs and telling me everything that was wrong with their sports bras. And I'm like, oh, I totally agree. I am working on it. But if you would just like pass by and see all these women like standing in a circle holding their boobs you would be so confused so it's really funny very validating too to hear that so many women are in need of good high quality high back sports rolls and i'm super excited i think i'm actually gonna wrap up this vlog right here i know it's thursday but literally guys i'm just gonna be spending the whole day working on my computer so i hope you enjoyed another weekly vlog and i hope this video inspired you to just get motivated go out there move your body and honestly just love what you do i will catch up with you guys next week if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a giant thumbs up it really does help support my channel subscribe and turn on your notifications because why bother subscribing if you don't know when I post it's every Sunday at 3 p.m. and I'll see you hopefully for another vlog next Sunday bye